this is Natasha from Wyoming Homeschool, and I have Simply Classical Writing Book 2 Teacher Key by Memoria Press. And please note this is the read aloud edition. There is also a Bible edition. This particular book goes with the Simply Classical 3 program, which I know can be confusing because this is Book 2, but nevertheless, it goes with the Simply Classical 3 program. But you could use this totally on its own and I'll talk about that. So this is step-by-step -step sentences but I do want to mention it goes beyond sentences and goes into a paragraph, writing a paragraph too. Okay so um, here is the table of contents and some of the things we go over um, and I do want to note that each week you will be reading a story and the stories, the books, are actually listed in the back. So these are all history books and these history books are the history books that are in the Simply Classical 3 Enrichment and they go chronologically through American history. So we've got from Miss, um, Meet Christopher Columbus all the way down to um, the Wright Brothers, Pioneers of American Aviation, and then review Neil Armstrong Young Flyer. So as you can see, um, it goes chronologically through American history using picture books and chapter books. So using read alouds. And I do want to also mention that it does say that you don't have to have those books or read those books in order to do this program successfully. But I think this would be so, so perfect to do with American history study. So this is super exciting to me. Okay, so let's go over some of the things it covers. It covers the sentence and it covers nouns, pronouns, and then um, agreement. So I'm assuming that subject verb agreement, um, commas and apostrophes, synonyms and antonyms, describing words, organizing and a review and assessment. Um, but as you'll see as I flip through this, uh, it covers quite a bit. So here's some suggested supplies you'll need. Green, blue, red, and yellow colored pencils, a pencil, and the read aloud books. Um, note, you can teach this course without the read aloud books. We include the books to link writing with the listening and reading. You can obtain these books as a set from classicalspecialneeds.com or you can go to memoriapress.com. Either one, it's, it's the same um, company. Or find them through your own favorite sources, so like the library. About step-by-step -step sentences, the sentence is the heart of good writing. Book two provides composition and grammar rules, copywork, and opportunities for students to create their own good sentences every week. By the end of this course, the student begins to write paragraphs. How to teach step-by-step -step sentences. Read the assigned story before beginning the lesson. Follow the directions for lessons A, B, C, or D each day. See scheduling options below. I'll show you those. Uh, teach with immediate gentle correction of any errors and explain that all good writing becomes better with good editing. Have the student make any needed corrections before moving to the next lesson. And if the student is overwhelmed or visually distracted, prepare cardstock or other high quality paper to serve as a half page cover. For example, cover lesson B when teaching lesson A. Um, additional tips, main idea in detail. Initially, students will have some difficulty determining which sentences are details and main ideas. Be sure to clarify that all of the examples are true sentences. You may wish to distinguish with the words small fact or tidbit for details and use big message or theme for main idea. Plan to provide assistance with this for the first 10 or more weeks. So um, identifying that main idea versus the details, like it said, it could take up to 10 weeks for them to really grasp that. And then describing words. Some describing words will be unfamiliar in meaning. You may wish to teach these words prior to the lesson. You may also use these words to teach dictionary skills. Um, Provide side-by-side -side practice for 10 or more weeks. By lesson 12 or 13, assign one word per lesson to each student. Have the student read the entry. Use these unknown words in a sentence. Then have the student choose his favorite word to complete the noun or verb phrase in the lesson. I skipped a little bit there, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what that was talking about. And then it says you can use this one to four days a week, depending on the needs of your student. Um, younger or more challenged students may benefit from repeated readings of the story to improve comprehension. For such students, teach over three to four days. And so here's the different scheduling options. So one day schedule, um, you're going to have a designated writing day. And so you're going to uh, read the story and then do A, B, C, and D. And so your class time will run about 45 to 55 minutes. Or you could do a two day schedule. You know, you're going to break it down into reading the story and then A and B, rereading the story if needed, and then C and D. Or three day schedule, read the story, teach A and B. Um, day two, reread the story and teach C. Day three, reread the story if needed and teach D. 
and then a four day schedule, basically reading the story in A, B, C, and D. So you can break this up however you want. Okay, and then it has some rules about sentences here. I like this for the student and for the teacher. I think that's really helpful. So we've got rule one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and so here's week one, and I don't have the student book for this, so, but this is what the student book would look like. It's just filled in. So, um, so lesson A, apply the rules. So first you would read the story Christopher Columbus. Then you would do this. So main idea or detail. So they're going to determine if it's a main idea or a detail by circling the correct one. And then apply the rules to the main idea. So this is why you need those colored pencils. Yellow for highlight. Underli underline the main idea in yellow. Green for go, circle the beginning capital letter in green. Red for stop, underline the ending mark in red. Blue for special, circle the names of special or specific people, places, or things in blue. And then copy the main idea. And so after they've identified the main idea, then they would be writing it here. And you know they'd be using those colored pencils to apply the rules for the main idea. And then lesson B, and then we're talking about fragments versus sentences. And so it gives the rules there and an example, and they're going to decide if it's a fragment or a sentence. And then they're going to answer this question in a full sentence. So who discovered the new world? So they might need help because they might just say Christopher Columbus at first, but they might need a little bit of help uh, putting that into a complete sent sentence. Christopher Columbus discovered the new world. Then C, choose descriptive words, and so describing a noun. So here we're going to be talking about adjectives now, and then describing a verb, we're going to be talking about adverbs. And so they're going to choose one that would fit here, and then write it in here, and then they're going to write the full sentence. Then on lesson D, they're going to draw and describe. And so there's a little checkbox here. This this program actually reminds me a lot of IEW. Um, and so I, I find that really actually kind of interesting. But anyway, um, begin each sentence with a capital letter and end each sentence with a punctuation mark and tell a complete thought in each sentence with colorful active words. So from the first week, they're writing sentences to give you an idea of um, the, you know, the level that this is. And then we get into week two, and I'm not going to go thoroughly through each lesson, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what this looks like. So every single week is going to follow that A, B, C, and D uh, you know, formula. So where we've got the apply the rules and identifying the main ideas and details and sentence or fragment, answering the question, descriptive words, draw and describe. Okay, and then we've got Pocahontas part two. Okay, and so now, by week five, now we're talking about um, common nouns. But again, the A, B, C, D format stays the same. Reviewing sentences and fragments. Now we're talking about nouns in a sentence. So on the lesson B of each week, it seems pretty clear that there's going to be some sort of new writing skill introduced. Like here we go on this lesson, um, pronoun male. Pronoun female for the writing skill. So now here um, we're writing two sentences instead of just one. Pronouns all. Types of sentences. Here we have a closer look at nouns and verbs. Here's some copy work. Copy the story in your best writing. So as you can see, it's getting more involved as we go. And, and it gets uh, even the answer to this question becomes more involved. So it's not just to answer the question, but with a complete sentence and a verb in the past tense. We're still at two sentences here. Answer this question with a verb in the future tense. Just 
still got two sentences here. But as you can see, we're, we're getting into all kinds of different writing skills. Reviewing contractions with pronouns and reviewing the comma. Okay, so here, um, this is week 22, write the story of John James Audubon, write the story in the past tense to tell how he learned about birds, tell what happened in the beginning, middle, and end of his life. So they're going to be writing paragraphs. And putting everything together, the paragraph, um, when we group sentences together about a single topic, we call this a paragraph. So I guess in that lesson 22, it's just talking about beginning, middle, and end. But in lesson 23, it's actually calling it a paragraph, defining a paragraph. And then they're going to be writing a paragraph here. Tell how Je Thomas Jeff Jefferson came to build a library. They still have the A, B, C, D format all the way along. Um, writing two sentences still. Copying the main idea still. Tell the story of Clara Barton. Use lively words to paint a picture of the beginning, middle, and later years of her life. So here's another paragraph practice there. Another paragraph practice here. There's another paragraph practice. So it looks like at about, you know, week 22 or so is when they really get into um, paragraphs. So they go from one sentence to two sentences to beginning, middle, and end to, you know, defining and calling it a paragraph. But they're still practicing that main idea in detail throughout. As you can see, we're in lesson 31. They're still practicing that. They're still practicing um, copying the main idea. They're getting a new writing skill every single week. Um, and then there it's just getting harder and harder as they go along but as you can see it's just little bits of information so this is not overwhelming at all I love the applying the rules too with the different colors I think that's so great I love how they get to draw a picture also okay so then we've got uh, the definition of a paragraph this is a review descriptive word so this is Kind of reviewing everything they've learned and then we have the assessment so it's kind of like their test do they know all these rules so this is like you know it's not just writing this is grammar too but you know grammar as it applies to writing of course and then we've got that read aloud book list that i was talking about and these are so cool the pronoun visual aids and these are reproducible um, just a little side note, I think the first language lesson CD would be so perfect to use along with this. I love the first language lesson CD and it has songs for the pronouns and the state of being verbs and the helping verbs and, um, the prepositions and all of that. And so, um, my daughters have learned all those. And so just a little tidbit, I would throw that CD right along in with this program. Um... And then there's a template for extra practice there. So if you're finding that that particular week or any week your student is having trouble, you could use a different story and you could use this template, the ABCD template for your own chosen story. So that is great. Or let's say you finished this and you wanted to kind of continue over summer, maybe once a week doing this, um, you totally could. You could apply the same things, you know, finding the main ideas and details and applying the rules with the color um, coding, copying the main idea, the writing skill. You could choose the writing skill you wanted to focus on, um, the descriptive words, and then the draw and describe. So I just love how this is has a specific format to follow. And I say that's why it reminds me of IEW because IEW is very um, formulaic like that too. Um, and it gives, you know, little boxes to check. And that, that reminds me of IEW too, you know, their checklist that um, you've definitely got these down. I think this would be a great precursor program to um, IEW. I, I just, I think this is just beautiful. And then they have a certificate of merit at the end. So anyway, that is what that looks like. I hope that was helpful. I really, really am quite frankly in love with what I see here. I haven't used it. I just got this. So this is just a flip through, not a review, but I know myself and I think I'm going to use this and I think I'm going to love it. So if you have any questions, I think I might be able to answer. If you need me to look up something in here or something like that, please let me know. Um, but I will talk to you soon.